everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are carrying on with this website. Um, I'm going to be looking at the colours, at the fonts. Um, I'm going to be kind of um, editing the homepage a little bit, I think, just kind of sort of edit it and see how we go. But I don't have a plan for these videos. I'm just going to do it and it's kind of, you know, I'm going to try to not edit it too much so you can see like the real life version of what it is actually like and the time it takes you because obviously some people edit it all down from the blank spaces and the pauses and but I want to show you exactly how long it's going to take you um so I didn't really have a plan that's my sort of mental in my head what I want to get done and what I want to do but who knows so <laughs> I'm going to spin you around take you into my computer and we're going to set up this or continue setting up this Shopify website okay everyone so um, what I've done is I've actually done a little bit of the navigation. Um, I've added some more to the pages. Let me just have a little look and show you what I've done. Um, so I do still have my old Squarespace website. It's just not active. So what I've done is I've kind of updated it um, and kind of just copied it in. So uh, let's have a little look at the Shop Critique page. I've just literally popped everything in there. Um, and then I have also popped a, uh, not on this page actually, I have actually popped a image on one of, one of the pages so that you can kind of see how it works. So all you do is just click insert image. If you want to link, you just highlight the, the text, pop in there and then insert a link. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've done. Um, I have also played around a little tad with the um, navigation in regards to the linking so before when I said that you couldn't link to an external website I was lying um, <laughs> um, I didn't know that you could just literally copy and paste the link straight in here so that is exactly what I've done so hopefully now let me just go onto the preview you should um, oh, actually no that's the um, other theme so it, it should go there and then it should take you straight to the shortcut to success course on teachable so that is exactly what I wanted. So what I'm going to do now, so now that the menu is all kind of like sorted out, is I'm going to go to online store and I'm going to just play around with the theme. Um, let's just go to so Brooklyn. Let's just have a little look and let's see what we can do. So we're here in the Brooklyn theme. Now, the only thing with uh, the website at the moment is that my photographer um, cannot do the images in time for the planner launch which is only in, um, what are we now, um, which is only in like a week and a half. So I'm a little bit kind of stuck. I've taken some images myself. It's super, super rainy and dark and stormy here for the last like week. So um, lighting has not been the best. I've honestly tried my best with kind of like what I have. I don't think they look too bad, but they're not ideal to be honest with you. So um, I did have a slideshow. Um, going here but I just didn't like it I just didn't think that the text kind of stood out enough um, and the only thing with that is that if I then get rid of the text it just doesn't kind of um, hang on let me see if I can get rid of the text it just doesn't really explain anything you just end up kind of heading onto this onto the site and it's just got a picture so I'm not sure if that just looks a little bit odd um, I always feel like you should have some kind of text hanging over it just so you can kind of see um, what it's all about. So I kind of hidden that for now, the this, this slideshow, until I get some professional images taken. Um, so for now, I think I am going to stick with like making it super, super simple. Because uh, again, I just think that's just easier sometimes rather than like killing yourself over trying to you know, look at the graphics and see what's what. I just think sometimes simple just looks really, really tasteful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm not entirely sure to be honest, um, now that the, the, the slideshow's out, whether to put an image of myself here and have a little bit explaining me, or actually I'd really like it to be like a proper e-commerce website. And to do that, I feel like you would need some kind of slideshow. Um, to be honest, I'm just, I'm a little bit stuck at the minute as to where to go from here. The blog, I think, should go at the bottom. Um, actually, that should go probably up there. Um, really, I kind of, I'm not 100% sure whether I want to subscribe to our newsletter. Um, I think that I will hide that. And what I will do is that I will put, um, um, maybe change the menu. So let me just go and do that now. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. if I go to, I've lost my bearings now, <laughs> if I go to navigation, 
and then I'm going to go to main menu and then I'm going to add a menu item and it's going to be um, free stuff. Should I do free, free stuff? Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, let's, da, let's wrap that in for now. So I want to go to my email provider and literally paste the link in for the um, page of the 30 days to a kit by Etsy shop. Um, so I'm just gonna go and grab that now very quickly. So this is my page so far um, of the 30 days to a kick butt Etsy shop workbook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna copy uh, that link in there, um, or rather paste it in there, <laughs> um, add that in, and then hopefully if I save and then I'm gonna refresh that, it should come up here. No, it hasn't come up there. Right, okay, that's, uh, oh, yeah, I need to click save there. This is the only thing with Shopify is that you're clicking the save button like every two seconds <laughs> just to make sure that everything is in there um, and working okay. So never mind. So that should, oh, I see. So that menu is now too uh, long. So what it's done is it, it's like done it in this hamburger style. Um, so, I mean, I kind of think that looks better. It kind of looks more simple. Um, I would prefer it to be all the way over here, I think. Um, let me just, yeah, so it's definitely not, yeah, so there's too many, uh, menu items. So it's kind of like whacked it in the hamburger style. So that's fine. Uh, but also what I want to do is I want to also add, so as well as the three, the three stuff, the free stuff, I want to say um, 30 days, oh, hang on, 30 days to a kick, not kick, but Etsy shop work book. I'm going to paste that link in there as well. So then I'm going to click and drag that to make it like a little nest menu. Um, and then I'm going to save that. And then hopefully what should happen is that this should then come in the style of like a little drop down menu. Um, but so far guys, I've literally only worked on this for, we're coming up to like 45 minutes now and already I've got all of the, the kind of bare bones happening, um, which I'm quite happy about because this bit is honestly the hardest bit. Um, getting all the nitty gritty stuff sorted out, um, putting the pages, like all the text, um, all of the navigation and things like that. The colours really like the easy bit. So I am actually pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do now is the footer menu um, can be a little bit lonely down there. <laughs> so if we scroll all the way down here, it's just got search. So I wanna edit that and I think I'm gonna basically um, copy the exact same menu as what I've done in the main menu, maybe minus like a few links. So I might put the uh, shortcut to success course and then I'm gonna go onto the shortcut to success course link and I'm gonna literally whack that in there as well. Uh, there we go. Um, and then I'm going to also do free, uh, no, I'm not, I'm going to do 30, I should keep doing that, days to a kick butt Etsy shop workbook, and then I am going to copy that, I'm going to whack that in there, so that you're, you're starting to build like a little footer menu, um, I'm going to save that, and I would really recommend that you do do this, guys. I do recommend that you kind of do all of the really boring stuff first so you don't lose steam. Um, I do find that if you do like all of the fun stuff first, you kind of come out of it feeling a little, a little bit like, oh, I've kind of done all the good all the good stuff now. So you can see here that it's all kind of done. Um, the, the bottom menu, the footer menu rather, is, is becoming a little, little bit more exciting. There's more sort of links there. Um, is there anything else I want to put on there? Um, see, the footer menus also come up here as well, um, which I'm not, don't know how I feel about that now, actually, to be honest. Um, if I go on navigation, <laughs> okay, so if I delete these then, um, my thinking was it was just gonna show up on the bottom, but it's obviously not, so, 
Never mind, let's just go back onto that. Uh, this is my old Squarespace uh, site, which I am gonna be copying the blogs from, by the way, guys, if you see that hanging around. <laughs> um, so, yeah, okay, so I'm not, I'm not, I thought that that would be just in the foot of the menu. I didn't realize it was gonna be. Some themes do do that. You kind of do something and then you look at it and go, huh, okay, that's really odd. Um, so I kind of see why well, they've done that. It's to like whack it up in here as well. So you don't have to do it doubly, which is fine. Um, there's no worries about that. So at the moment I'm kind of looking at it and I'm thinking I need to be changing some colors. So I'm gonna go into theme settings and I'm gonna go on to colors. now. What I would say, guys, is that if you've got any brand colours, I would go ahead now, I'm going to do it in a second, and copy the hex codes into like a, a Word document, notepad, whatever, so that you're not having to keep going back and finding them. So I'm just going to quickly do that now. So I've got my uh, pink hex code, which is the kind of pink that you guys all know that I use. Um, so I'm thinking um, body text, line colour. Now these can be a little bit confusing at times. Sometimes you can kind of sit there and think, oh my goodness, what is this? But if you kind of scroll down, um, see you're kind of seeing here that the, um, that the, 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 what are these called? The links, what are they called here? Links and, a and accents have now turned into that pinky colour. Um, for sale and sale tags, I'm going to do that red because that is literally if an item is on sale, it comes up in red. So that's kind of what you want, really. Um, buttons, I'm going to do pink. And it does also save it as well, so it's nice and easy. Um, so we haven't got any buttons here yet, have we? Um, that's sold out, so we can't do that. I'm I'm not sure about this announcement bar. I'm wondering if that's the heading. I don't think it is, but I'm going to I'm going to see if that is. Is it the top bar maybe? Maybe. No, it's not. Okay. I'm going to change that back to pretty well what it was. I think it was it was here. Um and I kind of want to keep that quite kind of dark. Uh, what I do want to do, however, is I want to change the color of the header bar. Um, links and icons. No, what I want to change is this very uh, this annou announcement bar. There we go. That's what I wanted. So I want to change that to kind of like a pinky colour. I think. Um, let's get rid of that menu. Let's see. I just think it kind of lightens it up and it enables my brand colours to come through straight off the bat. I'd really also like to change this to like plain white as well. I think it's a little bit dark at the moment, to be honest. Um, so, uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to go on to colours. I'm wondering if that is where the menu colour is. I'm not going to lie, guys. I've never actually had this theme before. So, I'm I'm working my way through it as if I would do, as if you guys would. Um, so, so, yeah, forgive me if I'm a little bit sort of not sure where I'm going. What I'd really like to do is change the colour of the navigation. Theme style, maybe. Uh, no, that's the original theme style. Um, cart page. I, thought, mm, I would have thought it would have been here somewhere. Buttons, line colour, body text, headings, background. Oh, drawers. There, there we go. So these are called drawers. I call these, I call this like the hamburger style because that's what I kind of always learned that it is. So Shopify call these drawers. So I'm going to do that white. I'm going to do the text black. Um, there we go. So that's more like it. So it's uh, my brand is very light, airy and feminine. So that does fit in with my brand a heck of a lot better. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Next is the fonts. Um, I am, I like Montserrat, Mont Montserrat. That is my, um, my sort of brand font. So I chose something that was pretty kind of easy. Um, so Mont Serrat. So it's just that one. Okay. So let's click onto that and see what that's like. Um, okay. Right. Let's select that. So that's the headings, uh, accent. Ah, here we go. Body text. That's what I was after. I'm going to see about keeping these all the same just so it's all um, unique all the way through. So I kind of like this because it kind of makes it all the same. I'm going to put that back to desktop just so I can see it a little bit better. Um, I kind of found that um, 
when I did it the other text it was quite hard to read so I quite like that I think that's very uh, stream streamlined throughout the whole website I kind of I like how that looks so I'm, I'm pretty ha happy with that to be honest and I like how it's all the same I would maybe like it a little bit more professional looking but the thing is is that that's my brand font so hmm I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I'm just sort of overthinking it which you there is a danger of you doing this if you do kind of look at the fonts and the colors way too much you can seriously do a, a bad case of overthinking things so um let me have a look so the uh, base size I think I might put that down a little bit I'm wondering whether that could be why it's looking a little bit there we go that's what I wanted Sometimes adjusting just the colours and, and the sizes can be really, really good. Um, I'm going to go to the About Me page. I'm going to see because that's quite a big body of text. Yes, perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Amazing. See, on the, on the Squarespace site, this, the guys, this, just literally what I've done in these two, we've done half an hour in the last video, 15 minutes on this one roughly, um, and this took me like three, four hours just to get my head around doing it. So it was really, really strange um on the on the squarespace site so yeah really really weird um cart page so this is basically i'm not going to enable order notes yet so this is basically um if i save i'm going to show you what this is so your cart comes out as a draw whereas if you leave it as a page you literally click it and it goes into like a whole new page if that if that makes sense i'm hoping this will there we go so I like it as a draw kind of style, um, just so people can easily switch back and forth. Uh, so if I save that, and then I'm going to go to there, so you can see your cart pretty much straight away here. Um, I don't. I, I'm sort of. I'm very 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 on this, only because. In my experience, sometimes the draw doesn't work uh, with like co coupon codes and stuff, but I do like the way it looks because you've got the menu popping out here, you've got the cart popping out here, it's super, super clean and easy. Um, so I think I'm gonna keep that like that for now. I will monitor it and if I find that there is a lot of issues going on, I will change it. Uh, social media, so what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna go very, very quickly and copy all of my social media links in here now. Okay, so I've just done that. Um, and also as well, you wanna keep these buttons clicked it means that people can share your pages or your items as well. And what this does is that it literally enables these buttons to direct and these buttons as well to your uh, actual um, social medias. I actually ha haven't got a lot in the way of social media. Um, I am, if you've, if you've not sort of seen uh, how I kind of teach social media, I am a person that would say, start with one, master that, and then move on to an another. So. I've got Facebook, my Facebook group, and I've got um, my Pinterest page. I did have Instagram, but to be honest with you guys, sometimes you have to just sit and think, is the return on investment worth it? And for Instagram, it just wasn't at that time. I may explore it at a later date, but right now it just wasn't for me. So I am, I'm really happy with that so far, actually. I like how it's laid out. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to actually add like a dummy planner uh, product page in and I want to do this because I want to see how it looks like on the home page so the handmade bosses planner kit and if you don't know this is a planner that I am actually releasing very very shortly so keep an eye out for that um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the product sort of I'm gonna I'm gonna just pop a a not a fake product because it will be the real one but you kind of get what I mean where I'm gonna m sort of make the planner in a, in a the planner listing in like a very draft style just so you can kind of see how how it all works I'm just gonna click and drag the images in here so I've got eight photos being uploaded here um I am gonna be doing a video as well but obviously as I've just said like the weather is just so bad I can't even take anything decent <laughs> you know photos wise it is so dark here um so i'm gonna have to leave that for now i think until it hopefully brightens up later on in the week uh yeah it's just it's not fun right now so what i'm gonna do is product type um, i'm gonna put planner i'm gonna add that into there vendor um i'm just gonna do handmade bosses this is a lot for sort of drop sh shipping site but I, I would just make sure that you pop it in there it just makes it easier 
collections um so that's a point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on to collections which is here um and i'm going to create a collection which is basically like a category of products so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in um the handmade bosses creative business planner and i'm going to add that in um and in the, in the description um it is seo uh, you you have to put your key your keywords and stuff in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do that um so uh, da, 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 da. with this conditions mean that you can either manually add a product to the category or the collection or you can automate it so what i'm going to do is I'm going to go on to product type planner. So product type is equal to planner. And then hopefully what that should do is that should hopefully um, when the product has been saved, it should come up here. So let's go back to that in a second. So I can see you thinking that, that the pictures are not very good. I am aware of that. I, I know that they are not great. I am, you know, <laughs> I do know that they aren't the best pictures coming through. Um, but again, it was just so freaking dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put in a price for that. So compare at price is if you want to do a sale, um what it will do is it will come up as uh, was this price now this price i'm not going to do that um sort of now uh, cost per item i don't i assume that's your cost price uh so i assume that is if you upload from a drop shipping app it will tell you how much this item is costing you and you can actually see at the time sort of how much uh you want to like add as a markup onto it obviously we're not doing that um, inventory managed by Shopify or Printful, just Shopify would be fab. Um, available, I think I have about, if I do 47, because I've taken a few out for me to use. <laughs> um, this is a, a physical product. Da, 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 da. This product has multiple. So variants are like var variations on Etsy. Um, you can put in the weight of it and the customs thing here as well if you want to. Um, I'm not going to do that right now just because it's just going to take ages for me to do. So I'm going to just, oh, tags as well is um, if you want to add product tags. I won't do for the minute because I'm not going to be doing a lot of products on this store. But again, if you're doing a lot, I would advise you to do the, the, the tags because it does make it easy in the search bit. So, for example, if you are on a Shopify website and you search for red t-shirt it allows you to like have tags in a menu bar either on the right or the left hand side or even at the top to like do dog t-shirts flower t-shirts music t-shirts and things like that so i'm not going to do that um what i am going to do is i'm going to refresh it and see if i can add it to that collection and then i think we are i haven't put in a descript description yet i haven't written that up yet so um, there we go. So it's added it in here automatically. So if I refresh this now, you'll see that because the product type is equal to planner, that it is in here, which is amazing. So I am going to go back to the online store um, and I'm going to go to Brooklyn, which is the one we've been doing. And I'm going to literally um, featured product. I'm going to select the handmade bosses planner as a featured product so there we go that's that in there um you've got show vendor i don't really do that show variant labels again i don't really do that because there isn't any variant labels on here if you had like size small medium large whatever they would show up here but i'm not going to do that uh show the dynamic checkout button um so it's literally just a buy it now button basically so share oh my god that is a tongue tongue twister show social sharing buttons um media so you can if you've got a video in there which i will be doing at some point um you can add that in there as well so that is basically how a product would look 
So what I'm going to do, all oh, those photos are terrible, oh no. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag that, I think probably up a little bit more. So now I I'm really want to be working on the home page. That's, that's where I really want to kind of work it on. Um, so I'm a little bit kind of, I, I don't know, see if the slideshow was happening there, it would make it a lot more, I don't know, I might just sort of leave that there. I, I'm not, I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure. I'm very torn because I kind of like the picture that I've got there. Obviously, once I've got some better pictures taken, I can put those in the, um, the slideshow, but I, I've, I've not got them. So I don't know what the best course of action is here really to be honest I think maybe the best thing to do right now is to delete all of the um bits and bobs here that are not being used I'm going to remove all of the sections here I'm going to take that out as well I think let's just start afresh because it is getting quite confusing so so far I've got the slideshow I've got the um featured product and I've got the blog so that's pretty much a really simple home home page which is not a bad thing guys if you want to have something as simple as this then it's definitely not a bad thing but here you can see you can add um, a load of new sections and actually there's quite a lot you can do with this small amount um, a video I won't be doing a video on the home page I don't think rich text is literally just if you want to write text down um, map if you want a map to your store which obviously I don't Okay, so I've kind of like made up my mind that I'm gonna keep the slideshow. Otherwise, it's gonna be very sort of like, here's the here's the website, <laughs> here's a product. Um, so I'm gonna keep that. I might actually add some more slides in there. Um, I tend to use Burst by Shopify, which is a free image site that Shopify actually provide for you. Honestly, guys, Shopify are freaking amazing. I do have a affiliate link in the description box below. Um, basically, nothing changes for you, but I do get a small commission if you do sign up with a paid plan with Shopify. So if you want to use that, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, so I'm thinking, actually, right now, um, I'm sort of going through like a mental to-do list. So I need to um, upload some blog posts, obviously, because right now it's looking a little bit, bit, little bit bare. Um, I need to update the Handmade Bosses Planner, um, the product that is on there. But also what I need to do is I need to link my uh, custom domain in here. So I'm going to go to settings. It's quite difficult to find on here. So um, I'm going to quickly, <laughs> could it be general? It could be general. Let, let's have a look. No, it wasn't on general. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. I'm not 100% sure where this would be, to be honest. Plan and permissions uh no okay right what i'm going to do is i'm just going to very very quickly go on to GoDaddy, which is where my domain is hosted and see what i can find out there uh, okay so it was literally right in front of my face um it was under online store and domain so it used to be down here this was i mean last time i did this was about three four years ago so it used to be down here now it's in there so I'm very, very quickly going to go on to connect existing domain. And then I'll be back in a second, guys. I just need to log on to GoDaddy and just make sure that this is okay for me to do. Oh my goodness, guys, that was so incredibly easy. That was so much easier than it was the, the, the first time around I did this. Um, basically, you just go, you just type in your handmade, uh, your handmade, you type in your custom domain in here. It automatically knows where it is registered to. You click connect automatically. It brings you in here to log in to GoDaddy and then it's, li it's literally done. So that was incredibly easy. The last time I did this, it was so difficult. I had to go on to GoDaddy themselves um, and I had to literally just do it all. Yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty nuts. So <laughs> that is great. I can't believe that that was so easy. Um, it's literally just doing the S SSL pending now. So that is fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super happy that I have actually done that. Um, so that is a big tick off my list. I am just going to put a little thing to just to make sure that, um, that this is, uh, okay. So I'm just going to put that on my to-do list very quickly. So I'm just going to write a little list here, I think. So I think that might just be a little bit easier. Um, so check SSL pending. I want to update, uh, planner description as well. That's something that I'd like to do. Um, and I think I'll do 
a video for planner so guys i'm i'm thinking that we're not far off being done to be honest with you um i can't really think i mean apart from we need to publish the theme to um we want to publish that so we want to replace the current one because that is not what we want to do um so there we go the theme is now live so uh i'm going to go on to pub uh, publish i'm going to go on to customize it again i'm going to get rid of, rid of all these up here all these tabs um so i think to be honest guys apart from adding in the blog post which you don't want to watch me just literally copy and paste a load of stuff in because that's not very exciting um i think I, I I feel like I want to add one more section. Um, what do I want to add a section on though? Hmm. If I add a video, that's not a nest of videos, is it? So no, I don't want to do that. What I would really love um, is to have like a little menu of videos that I could link my YouTube. Um, my YouTube URL to and it automatically uploads it um, but also on my to-do list I want to look at apps that will help my store but to be honest guys I think I'm going to cut this video here we have done quite a lot to be honest we have literally transformed the website visually um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this video here and I'm going to pick it up next time where we will be looking at apps which is really like the fun part to be honest we'll be looking at apps and I'm kind of like trying to finish off the store in a way that it is ready to launch so guys i really hope you enjoyed that video please do not forget to give it a big big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to um download the 76 page workbook because that is amazing um, and it's free too so do go and check out the description box and also the shortcut to success course which you have heard me mention kind of putting in the um menu on the on the website and thing and things like that you've you've heard me talk about it in this video um that is also in the in the description box below as well as when it's going to be open the wait list and everything like that but for now guys i shall see you in the next video bye everyone